I'm sure you've encountered difficulties creating that effect you all know, commonly known as God rays. Oh. Today, I'll show you three simple yet effective ways to create them. And no, you don't need a volumetric frog in your scene to achieve beautiful results. Let me demonstrate. One of the first ways is to fake the effect using a model. It can be long and complicated to create one from scratch. That's why Epic has provided us with ready-to-use resources. Yes, they've been there from the start. Just open our content browser, enable show engine content and filter B. You will come across modules ready to be used and even easier, you will find static meshes. You can utilize them with specific shapes, which will further simplify our task. As good practice dictates, let's duplicate one of these assets in our content folder to avoid polluting the engine's content. Now simply drag and drop the asset in question, simple light beam 3 here, adjust its transformation especially its scale, and also play around with its material. As you can see, by default, this asset uses a master material and not an instance. To facilitate adjustments, click on the brush icon here, right-click on the material, and create an instance. Move it to our content and then assign it to our mesh. Now, we can easily and in detail adjust our god material, whether it's its fade distance, opacity, using an animated texture to simulate particles, changing the color, or even changing its far off texture. Feel free to use it as its quick and cost-effective method in terms of performance compared to more random methods that rely on other actor, like for example, the exponential height form. Speaking of which, this second technique involves using this actor and activating the volumetric fog attribute. As soon as it is activated, you likely see the volumetric spectrum of each light present in your scene appear. You can still increase the density parameters of your fog, but it will greatly impact your scene. The secret here is to play with the individual parameters of your lights, such as this red light, in terms of its intensity and volumetric scattering intensity. By only adjusting these two parameters, you can quickly achieve a good result. However, you may quickly want to increase the volumetric scattering intensity widely, and like me in this scene, you will end up with quite unpleasant pixelation in the voxel of your volumetric spectrum. By default, Unreal displays a resolution of 8, which we can see through the console command r.volumetricfog.greatpixelsize with a question mark at the end. To achieve higher quality, simply reduce this value to, for example, a value of 2. Obviously, this technique is quite expensive in terms of performance. The last technique I wanted to show you guys is simple and very quick since you don't need your volumetric fog or specific materials. You just need a directional light and to activate these two attributes under the light shaft tab, namely light shaft occlusion and light shaft blue. All you have to do is orient your directional light properly. Don't hesitate to use the shortcut Ctrl plus L to be even faster and more efficient. You just need to adjust the bloom scale to intensify those famous gold rays. And there you have it. Thank you guys for your support. Hope this video will help you. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and see you for the 3 of the month this week and for a new one next week. Ciao!